but I kind of want to like pop off on the eyes though because they're doing something to me that I wasn't expecting to be done. So. Hey gems, it's your girl Miss Jamima and I am back at it again with another video. So today, um, I'm going to be showing you some items from the new Maven Beauty, okay? Now, Fashion Nova came out with a beauty line. I have no idea what to expect. We finna see together. So, Fashion Nova is now doing makeup. We gonna see. <laughs> so, I have no idea what's in this box. So, I don't have any primer on. I have nothing on but lip gloss because my New Year's resolution is to stop coming with my ashy and chapped lip, okay? Um, so, yeah. First things first. First of all, the box is beautiful. Like, this is so cute. Oh, okay. And they got the black little fuzzy thingies. This is cute. This is cute. All right. So let me start pulling these items out. Let me put this down so I don't make a mess. And then show you guys what I have. Okay, so everything is out of the box. And I don't know if you can see, but this is everything that I got. <laughs> I don't know why I'm struggling to show you it like this, but... Yeah, so we got a good number of things. <laughs> so let me gently put them down. All right. And let's get to it. Okay, so we have eyeshadow palettes. All these little things are eyeshadow palettes. Ooh, 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 another eyeshadow. Another eyeshadow. All of these are eyeshadows, so let's take a look see so first thing i'm noticing is it seems like the eyeshadow color palette is on the top here along with their names so i like that i like that you can see it from the outside oh i kind of like this packaging this whole like clear situation so this is a very uh neutral situation here um yeah Okay, so that's one eyeshadow palette. <clears throat> this is another one, this one shimmers. These are like good transition shades. These are more like, they have like these like super, super nudie shades like. These are the darker colors here. And here we have two highlighters Ooh. Oh. oh there we go Ooh, this is giving me frosty honey frost and that's in a shade draped up and this is dripped out this is frosty too with a little bit more gold it's giving frosty okay Frosty. What else do we have here? We have cream eyeshadows. Mmm. Coquito. Quieres coquito? Wow, these are cream eyeshadows. They're like in squeeze two situations. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like literally a squeeze tube. Okay. Interesting. No way to see what the color is, I guess, from the top. Oh, yeah tops of these has colors as well but on the actual like product itself you can't oh actually yes you can the sticker the sticker has a color on it I honestly I, I'm not the biggest fan of the packaging like I'd much rather the regular lip gloss looking applicator just because it's easier to apply it on the eye especially if you have nails um, and also because you can see exactly what color you're working with as opposed to having to swatch these um, to see if that's the color that you really want. So, <clears throat> we have liquid eyeliners as well. Waterproof liquid eyeliner. Waterproof, I like that. Another liquid eyeliner. Last but not least, we have lipsticks. So let's see what this looks like. I really like this. <laughs> Ooh. 
I really hope the formula is nice. And it has a magnetic close and it can twist. I don't know why I really like that, but I do. But, um, oh, I love this. Oh, that's, that's nice. Wait a minute. Fashion Nova, let me find out. Okay, listen. Fashion Nova. These lipsticks though, look like they might, oh. This red, oh my God. Let me find out, Fashion Nova might be the place for a lipstick. And that is it, so. We are going to build a face with these items. So off the bat, I'm not in love with the eyeshadows just because these aren't really the color palettes that I go for, but I could definitely work with these. So I'm trying to decide if I wanna go for like a matte eye, but I feel like that's what everyone's been doing. But I feel like if I go, if I go for the shimmery eye, that's what I always do, so. <laughs> I don't know. And I really want to wear a fire lipstick so I want the eye to be neutral, which is easy since most of these are neutrals. Like, it's giving beige and nude and ivory and cream and potentially ash. So we're gonna see um, how these look. I'm gonna use one of the cream eyeshadows as a base and then put the eyeshadow on on top. So uh, let me do my base and then I'll come back and we'll go over the rest. So now that the majority of the face is done, we're gonna go in with the highlighter and see if they hit. Now, if you guys remember, I said they were giving a little, they were giving frosty, okay? Um, so we have draped up and dripped out. <laughs> Ooh, child. Um, this one is pink based, this one's gold based. I'm gonna try and use this one and pray that it works. <laughs> Child, I hope this don't make my face look ashy after all this work I just put into it. Um, Cause yeah, it's it's a little light, but we'll see. So it's it's giving a little bit of frost, but it's not bad. Um, but yeah. So with these shades, I can only see this um, working on light to medium skin tones. Um, but yeah. Okay, so now that that is done, we are going to try out the eyeshadows. So, um, out of all of these shades, I don't know which ones I'm going to use. Um, okay, I'm definitely not going to use this palette. Okay, I'm going to use, uh, what is this? Bold Blend and Spotlight. And I may use a little bit of Define to Define. <laughs> Yeah, so Bold Blend um, is one that I would pick for my transition shades. So let's... Oh! Well, excuse me? Wait a minute! Excuse me? Wait a minute, I... High key was not expecting that kind of pigment. Like, I really wasn't. You know what, let me be quiet and just do this tutorial because, <laughs> baby. So there is a little bit of kickback when you um, are gathering the shadow on your brush. But just be mindful of that and tap off the excess before you apply and you should be good. Wow. It's the pigment for me. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wow, okay, okay. Well then, on that note, <laughs> I'm going to take a little bit of 
this darker shade here right underneath all that orange just to help define that space right there a little bit these are perfect for traveling like they're so compact they're thin and they're small and because they are separate like this you can basically customize which looks you want to take with you on the go um because you could do like the more lighter nude shades you can do a smoky eye you can do like these middle tones here with these oranges and plums so that's like really good for traveling um I kind of want to keep it like this. Oh, but I read it so pretty. Oh my God. I'm really thinking about what I like to do because of the lipsticks. Mm. But I kind of want to like pop off on the eyes though because they're doing something to me that I wasn't expecting to be done. So <laughs> let me look at these cream eyeshadows and see. I kind of want to do like a brown smoky eye like in my wallet right now. So just based on the colors on the back of the tubes, I'm gonna go for Teddy. Um, I'm also gonna open up Brule just to see what it looks like. See, I kind of wish it had like a little clear spot so you can see the color from outside the tube. Um, so this is Brule. I actually really like this. Like if you pair this underneath one of the like paler shades, you can really make it pop and do one of those like super nude, um, brown eye looks and this is teddy which is uh, like a cool tone gray brown mm. okay i'm gonna go for the um the really light brownie neutral eye i feel like i'm not describing that right but you guys will see what i'm doing it <laughs> so i'm gonna take the cream eyeshadow in the shade brulee I'm gonna use that to kind of just like these might be really nice though like as a base oh they don't dry tacky at all I feel like they dry down almost to like a powder finish I mean I'm tripping like yeah it's not tacky at all wow okay interesting so let's see if if I use like a neutral shade on top, if it'll hold. And then I'm going to deepen the outer V using the Define palette. I'm just going to use some of that brown. Right on the outside. This is a very rich brown. I love that. And then I'm going to use one of the liners. Oh, it has like a safety thingy on these. And then you close it all the way. Or, oh, oh, I wonder why they do that. Does it like help it? Like, how does that? <gasps> it's a, t uh, oh, whoa, whoa. I got a little excited with that. Usually you have to, um, turn it a few times before the product comes out but I guess that's why it has a safety feature because it's right there on the tip I'm gonna do a brown liner I've never done a brown liner before or have I am I lying let's see oh this is very interesting hmm it came out a little liquidy but we're gonna try it now and it's like a like paintbrushy oh y'all I don't know I hope I don't ruin the look with this Like I'm a felt tip liner kind of girl. And this is not really a felt tip, but it's felt tip-ish. 
And I just, y'all, I, I might, I might really like this. Y'all, now let's pray I can make the other eye look the same. So the first little twisty action was very watery, but once I twisted it again, the, the pigment came out and I kind of just like, you know, mixed it on my hand. And as you can see, honey, she's a beautiful milk chocolate brown. Yo, like low-key, I was ready to drag Fashion Nova because I was like, y'all doing makeup now? <laughs> but why is it kind of like banging though? This is such a beautiful brown, y'all. Like, shout out to Fashion Nova for, for giving the, uh, the girls this rich chocolatey brown and that little like dusty doodle brown. I am not mad at this eyeliner. Like, this is right up my alley. Fashion Nova might be onto something with this. Like, wait a minute. Am I really about to be ordering eyeliner from Fashion Nova? Cause this is hitting. I know the eye is not perfect, but it is what it is. <laughs> Okay, all right, all right. Wow, I'm hype, all right. So which lipstick do I wanna do? I don't wanna know. I feel like this is a cute color, but I have so many mauve lipsticks, like I just, I'm not, I'm not. This red is so nice, oh my God. Okay, so I could either do the red, that really pretty. This is nice, this is nice. Oh my God, so many options. Yo, I cannot wait to try out this formula. Oh my God. Uh, I wish they had like a really pale nude or a more like brownie nude. Okay, so I feel like it's between this and the red. All right, I'm gonna do this shade. It's so nice, okay. Oh my God, y'all, I'm like rubbing on the product. The eyeliner is hard to come off. I mean, it's still coming off though, but these cream shadows are sticking. Where's my lip liner? Wow, this is the sloppiest lip liner, but that's okay. This is such a pretty shade and this is thr Thrills. Mmm, it's giving me modern matte vibes. Where it's matte, but it's not super drying. So I have to, you know, kind of rub it in a little bit to get the full pigment. But I am not mad at sis. Yeah, this is definitely a modern matte. There's no shine, there's no gloss but it's very comfortable. It's like mm, a smidge, mm, there's a slight sheen. You guys see that? The slightest sheen, but this is nice. Oh my gosh. I like, yeah, there's a little bit of a sheen. It's not a matte matte. It looks matte from the tube. Oh, calm down. It looks matte from the tube. Like it looks like matte. Matt did a matt, 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 matt. But oh my gosh, y'all, like, I am not mad at all. So, okay, comprehensive review of everything that I've tried. Um, off the bat, I wish the eyeshadows had more range, um, but I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt. You know, wait to see, maybe it was like a soft launch. Everybody loves neutrals. And I guess, you know, it is what it is, but, the shadows that they do have clearly is pigmented and I, you know, they weren't difficult to blend. Like I'm not mad at them. I love the compact packaging of them. I love that you can see the eyeshadows clearly. I love the clear interior. Like I love all of that. Um, so yeah, you could definitely do what it do. I feel like this type of eye is ideal with these color palettes. Um, I feel like the shimmers, like this, they could have done better with the shimmers. Like, I don't know if this is an aesthetic, but these are all like super light baby shimmers. I'm gonna open a shadow so you guys can see. Yeah, but these are like my go-to, which is why I want to do something a little different. I don't usually do eyes like this, but 
I know a lot of people do. Um, and I feel like the, the shadows provided is really great for that. But yeah, this personally would be my go-to. Um, and I would just do something like a brown, goldy brown eye or like a goldy brown smoky eye. Easy to do that with that. Um, I feel like these cream eyeshadows would work really well as a base. Um, do they have any shimmer ones? Is this a shimmer? I They seem to be matte. Um, out of the three that I swatched, they were matte. So I'm guessing you can use them underneath the uh, pan eyeshadow palettes. Um, and sis, when I say they stick, like I kind of thought they'd be like a little wet and maybe tacky to hold on to the shadows. But I mean, if you really wanted to use them alone, you absolutely can do that because they dry down to a super matte, non-sticky finish. And when I say that they are not going anywhere, cause I have Brule right here and Teddy right here. And I was rubbing on them with the paper towel and they did not budge at all. The eyeliners actually came off more than the cream eyeshadows, which I was not expecting. So sis, they're stuck. Um, as for the highlighters, once again, color range could have been better. Not really for my skin tone. I feel like if they had a deeper shade, um, I would have liked it better. I can work with it, but it's not a shade that I would pick up and use if given the choice. Um, so, you know, that's that. And the eyeliners, I'm really into the eyeliners. So, um, that being said, I, this is my first time using them. I haven't had them for a couple weeks to see if they dry out quickly or if the brush tips start looking wonky or anything like that. But so far, I'm really into the concept and into the brush applicator because it's completely up my lane. I know some people may not like it, but I love it. Um, I love how pigmented it is. It's so easy to make a sharp line. Like, y'all, most brown eyeliners barely do anything for me, which is why I don't use them. I don't know why I decided to go for it today, but sis, it's hitting, it's hitting, it's hitting. And it's a beautiful shade of brown. And that's another thing too, the browns that they do have in this palette, for both the eyeliner and the eyeshadow palettes, hitting, I love that, I love that. It's like nice, warm, chocolatey browns, not like doo-doo brown, I love that. Last but not least, we have the lipstick, Starling, and your girl loves a nice lipstick. I wish they had uh, like more nudie shades, which is ironic because I want the lipstick shades to match the eyeshadow palettes and I want the eyeshadow palettes to match more of the lipstick shades. <laughs> but that's personal preference, you know, it is what it is. But the shades that they do have is very beautiful and it's very on trend, I guess, you know, with the mauve lips that people love, the Instagram lips. Um, a couple swipes will get you the color that you want. It's very comfortable. It's a natural finish, I wanna say. But I think it will eventually dry down to a modern matte, a comfortable matte. Um, so all in all though, like I'm definitely here for the lipstick and the eyeliner, like hands down here for those products. The eyeshadow palettes, depending on your color scheme, you can go for those too. Um, if you're a deeper complexion, the highlighters need some work, but you can definitely make these products work for you. And sis, like you might have to try these for yourself. I'm a little shook. Uh, but that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Toodles. <laughs> Peace.